Hello there and a very warm welcome to Ditch Heat Dex, the fourth and final day of the Cheltenham Festival. Paul, it's been a long week, but you have some really good chances uh, on Friday. I think we'll start um, in the 210 to County Hurl, where you run to Affidale and Rare Middleton. Yeah, um, I'd like to see it dry for both of those two. I'm surprised they got in, to be honest with you. Um, I just don't want any more rain for either of those two. Affidale, of course, won very well at Musselburgh the last day. And uh, Ram Middleton won at Doncaster last time, both on better ground. So I'm very concerned about the ground, really, at the moment. So we'll just see what it does today. and Hopefully it stays dry. OK, just to remind everyone, completely free bet on horse racing multiples this weekend. There's additional places in the uh, county hurl. And you can read Paul's thoughts exclusively on betting.betfair. Paul, we'll talk about your next runner, uh, Captain Teague, in the Albert Bartlett, a dour stayer. Uh, if it was to come up any softer, he'd it would hold no fears for him. No, you know, soft ground's perfect for him. Um, you know, he, he won the Persian War on his debut over hurdles. He won the Jallo grade one at Christmas. Um, he's in good shape. You know, just got, got to get the trip. He's never run over this before, but we're, you know, we're sure he'll get the trip and looking forward to it. And uh, on to the main event at 3.30, the Gold Cup. Paul, it's an interesting race this year in that there's plenty of horses with chances, but the favourite and returning yeah. champion, um, Gallopin Deschamps, is... is the one they all have to beat again. But is Brave Man's game something of a forgotten horse in the market this year? I think he probably is. You know, he he, he was a good second in the race last year and he ran very well, punches down, Weatherby, Pet Fetches, King George. You know, he's he's got good, solid form. I think I've gotten back to some of the nearest best, but the favourite's going to be very hard to beat. Away from that, I think it's a very open race. Yeah, it does look an open race outside of the favourite. <clears throat> Excuse me. And Paul, your last runner of the festival is in the Martin Pipe at 5.30, Sonny Gino. Yeah. And he's another one won't uh, soft ground would hold no fear for. Yeah, the ground will be fine for him. Hopefully they go fast and Freddie can take his time. I think he's he's not the best handicapped horse in training, um, but he's got a chance. OK, well, we're recording this on Thursday morning. Fingers crossed for Team Ditchy. We get a couple of winners on the board on Thursday and Friday. Paul, as ever, thank you very much for your time. Don't forget the offer, completely free bet on horse racing multiples. Opt into that. Check out your carousel for all the offers. There's a whole host of additional place races as well. And you can read Paul's thoughts exclusively on betting.beffer. And check out our Safer Gambling tools. You can set loss limits and deposit limits. There's all a whole host of tools a uh, timing checks for gaming, so on and so forth. So check out them if you're not using them already. Paul, thank you very much for your time. We'll catch up again tomorrow when we look forward to Midlands National. Thank you very much, Barry.